Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Legends of Tomorrow Season 4 Episode 11 called Seance and Sensibility. So we start off with at Nate at Hank's funeral where um, Zari and Nate flirt and then Ray's being a spaz and then we have Constantine send something. And so uh, Ray talks to Nate and they're all good now and they're, you know, you know, they're bros again. But then when uh, Ray gets to the bathroom, he gets a call from Nora through the mirror <clears throat> and says, like, was it me? So thank God. <laughs> and then we cut to where Charlie and Mona talk and then there's a fugitive alert that has to deal with Jane Austen and a bunch of her, um, none of her works have ever been published. So the legends go, and so um, Sarah lets Mona go. I just like, can I come? And then we cut to where Mona calls out Zari for like a Nate because she can smell her pheromones about that. And then we cut to 18, so Zari storms off. Then we cut to 1802, and where this guy almost runs Zari over with a carriage, and they're crushing hard. And, but um, they move on and go to a church and they spot Jane. Then we see that the bride runs off with a maid and the groom goes after the bride's mom and it's a huge romp party basically. And then we cut to Nora's on the wave rider and Ray hides her. Then Zari goes to talk to the crush and the rest go to talk to Jane. Um, but first they go talk to some girls that mention Lord, um, Lord Remington. They talk to Jane and they talk to Lord Remington. And that's who she mentions. It's like everything started being weird when he came to town. And so Zara goes to again talk to the crush. Then Mick is at the funeral and gave Nate advice. And so, um, he says just... Don't tell your feelings, say, tell them how you feel. So he's going to go do that. And then we cut to where Constantine felt something and says that Hank's spirit is still here. And then we cut to where the girls are fawning over the stagecoach guy, not Lord Remington, because he's just the old uh, windbag. Then we cut to, um, we find out that Zari is um, talking to the god of love. And they make out, but Zari did tie him up. And then we cut to where Jane is still not back to her work being published. Then we cut to where Bray and, um, makes Nora feel at home. But he still wants to be a gentleman and will sleep on the chair. Then Constantine talks to Nate and basically wants a seance. Then we cut to where... Um, the God of Love dis, uh, dis, uh, disperts love dust, and basically they had some very adult fun dreams. <laughs> but it made Nora, I mean, Mona sad because of the person that she lost in two episodes ago. And argues with Zari, then uh, no, Mona went beast mode and goes to find Jane. Then, um, vents to her, and so Jane vents back, and then we cut to where Zari talks to the guy, and he calls her out, and it works, and they eat some of the, um, this urn remains, which is weird, and then we cut to where Nate was about to call out, uh, <laughs> his dad, and then the power went out, and so he did a short speech, went blah, blah, blah. Then Nate's mom's turn um, went and basically gave a very heartfelt uh, speech and everything. And then we cut to where uh, Mona or Wolfie vents to Jane and she does the same and they both calm down. Then we cut to where Zari starts the singing and wants to get married. And then we go into this whole Bollywood dance uh, number which was super cool super fun then Mona starts singing and basically snaps everyone out of it 
Then we cut to where Constantine gets meant to be the vessel for the seance. So Hank talks to Constantine and got information. And we found out that the information is that Desmond was Neuron and who was a demon. So, and he's the one that off, uh, Nate's, that off tank. Okay. And then we cut to where, uh, Nate finds, some, um, like a hidden room and finds a video and basically this dad wanted to do a magic park off the picture that, hit, that Nate drew when he was younger. Then they, then, uh, Nate breaks down. Then we have someone that's mocking Constantine, but I don't know who that is because it's technically him in the mirror. But I don't know if that's just be like something else or what. Anyway, that was the end of the episode. I give this episode a, a, a strong A. I really enjoyed the episode. It had, like, I really like the Bollywood moment in there. I thought that was really neat that they always incorporate different elements from different cultures. And it's more like appreciation type thing. And I really enjoyed that in, the, in this um, season. And I hope they keep it up. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, that's going to do for this video. So if you like this video, please go like, comment down below, tell me what you think. And subscribe. And sorry if this comes out a lot later. Um, I forgot the show was on. <laughs> and I got home at 9. Then Eric came on. I was like, oh. So, but these are coming out later. So anyway, see y'all later. Bye.